system. So what we, we have did is ju uh, just to make the Android system more user-friendly and more uh, efficient, uh, especially for one-hand operation. So I can show you how the one-hand operation is. So if you want to wake up our phone, slide up. If you want to turn it into sleep mode, just hold the home button. And I wake it up. And this is the uh, task manager function. Okay, I open a lot of apps here. So if I want to kill apps, if I want to kill it one by one, I just slide up. If I want to kill it all, put it down. Another thing is you can add some shortcut here. And this is the notification bar. And we add some function here is you can select the Wi-Fi spot here or the network here. Which in, uh, in normal Android system, you need to go to the setting and you need to the, uh, go to the Wi-Fi uh, to select the, um, select the Wi-Fi spot. So we make it more convenient. And another thing we did is because you know the phone size, especially for the screen, is more bigger. And it's difficult to operate by one hand. Um, for you know, especially for for uh, for the uh, hand size limitation, especially for the woman. Sometimes, sometimes uh, they cannot touch the icon on the top. So we add a function called pull and hold. You can see the screen is whole. So now I have time to press the apps on the top. Suppose I can't touch in the normal cases. Another thing we have added is uh, for the multi selection in normal Android system, if you want to select more than one file, you need to kill it one by one. But for 5 system, you can just slide it, slide it, slide it to the end. This is really convenient, uh, especially you, you, you want to share a lot of photos or a file with your family or with your friend. This is really uh, convenient. And another thing we have enhanced is for the app placement. In the normal cases or the Android phone, if you want to put it another page, you need to go through one by one. But for our smartphone, you see this, put to the A page already. So it's really convenient, especially you have a lot of pages after you have installed a lot of apps, right? So uh, another thing is, you can't see the back button here because we merge it with our home button. Okay, if you want to turn back, go back. Another thing is, we try to utilize the whole screen. You can see that for the whole screen, you show all about the web pages and you can't see the back button or the preference button. So where it, where it will it be? We hide it in the top button. We press it, this is the back button. And for the same way, for the pre preference button, we hide it on the right top. So, you know, we just want to make our screen more, you know, user friendly and we just want to show what the, uh, our user want to see in, in the browser. Of course, they want to want to see the uh, website, the information about the website uh, if they're using the browser apps, right? So this is most of our the function. And the last one, which we talk about is the camera. Because if you see that, in most of the smartphone, for the indoor, it, is, it will be very dark. The brightness is not enough. But you can see for our smartphone, for the indoor, it's still very bright. Because we have a really large aperture, we have a 2.0 aperture. So it, kept, it captured a lot of bright uh, for the camera function. So you can capture good photos, uh, even if uh, in, in the indoor uh, environment. Yep. So this is maybe most of our function. And we hope that the fans in, the fans in Korea love our smartphone. Yeah. So thank you very much.